Welcome to part two. I'm just going to keep right on working on my very surreal forest, hilly landscape, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to keep using my swipe tools and I'm thinking about trying my little round swipe tool. Just moving right along the hillside. I'm using my residuals over the edge and playing with the colors I have left over in my dish. Because there are some blues and some purples in there, and I think that adding a little interest couldn't hurt anything. quiet because I'm focused. I know you've heard that before. Why do I want to put a little space right over here? I also might want to continue on with making sure my tree trunks are all touching the ground, although now that I say it out loud, it doesn't sound like it's a big deal. I kind of want some black cell activator, and fortunately I have it. Maybe a little purple too. I'll just use both. We'll use all three, purple, gold, and white. going a little sideways, trying to change up the patterns. I love that mystique. I've got a little something something down there that I think needs to be adjusted. I kind of want to blow a few things around. Just sort of because I can. I like everything until I get over here and I'm not sure what, I, what that problem is. Do I fill in? Maybe I do. I give myself a hillside with my leftover colors. A little more green, a little more black iris, both of which are prism pores, and a little more mysterious. Is it mysterious? No, it's Mystique. But it is mysterious. All right, I'm just going to keep using my spatula with a little bit of cell activator on it. Still a little paint. Adjust my line a little bit if I need to. Make my edge a little less even. Give it a little more texture. I like it with the moon in there. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of something or something right here. Just 
just to bounce the eye back around. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying myself. Thank you guys for joining me. I post at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, seven days a week right now. I think I might want a little more green over here. I'm going to stick that moon down after you're gone and roll it in place. Probably going to use a little bit of something like GAC 800 or just Sonia Varnish. I was thinking about putting an entire, yes I see that, an entire base area just overflowing with cells. But I kind of like the idea of utilizing the black. And I definitely like using the black iris as a defining element. They're sort of vignettes. They're slightly floating islands, you know? I don't know what it means, <laughs> but I like it anyway. Throw a couple of few pretend areas. If I wanted to steal some paint, or if I had a dish of paint, which I don't anymore because I used it up, but I suppose I could just grab something. Oh. I'll pretend there's little trees there. saplings. All right, I think that's it. I have to look at, look around for a moment and see if I need to make any small adjustments. I like this. I kind of want more of that color. I think I'm going to indulge myself and put a few spirals where I've left the trunky areas of the trees. Maybe a few branches up at the top, so they look even more like trees. Yeah, I like that. Usually I'll put moonlight in. I'm not sure that's going to happen this time. But I do like the idea of what I'm doing. Because when our tree trunks rainbow colored, I just will go for, go to town, right? I like my cells. I like the odd patterns, so I try and control myself to try and keep myself from making things look no normal. Trees on the ridge, the ridge line. And I could definitely lead a few more down in those branches. Just link those tree trunks right up. I want to put something right there. What have I got that's open? And that. I've got some Twilight Orchid handy. A little more 
ginger peach. This is faking it. That color I said I really liked. Grab a tad of the pink carnation. Let's put a dot of cell activator. Whoa. Okay. At least it didn't wind up on the black. Butterfingers. I don't know if there is enough color in this front tree. Definitely want a little tiny dab of pink carnation. It's a Because I Can moment. That's the name of my first book next to my second book. It's on the link tree. I like that color so much. I'm thinking it could signify moonlight. Let's get rid of that bubble. And a whole black area that I don't think... serving my purposes. It's easy enough to integrate a fresh color just by dabbing and dripping, dipping, dipping and dabbing. Into the colors around it. So, am I done? That's the question. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. I did mention that, right? I'm just sort of shuffling along my... I don't know if you call it smoothing out. I guess spreading out works. Making it uneven, less uniform, more organic. Oh, there's a waterfall in there. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> you watch, I'll use up the rest of my time again. Okay, I used a whole bunch of different cell activators and I've got some really interesting patterns. I have to stop myself from fixing anything because fixing is what undoes the cool stuff and I don't want to do that. It's not the time to organize my colors now. It's time to turn this around and show you and make sure that I have managed to put all of the colors that I want in the places I want them. Not sure that the black iris needed to be left alone, but I don't think it hurt anything either. Um, I do think right at the moment I'm contemplating trying yeah, I'm gonna do it. Trying a little moonlight. I'll probably smooth that out with a stick. I'm sorry if my head's completely obscuring your vision. I could leave it blobby and it wouldn't be bad. But I think I can improve it by moving it around a little bit. So, 
So I kind of like adding that highlight. It adds a little bit of definition to things. I wasn't really expecting to do that, but I was thinking about it. And since I might want some moonlight in between my trees, I can always make adjustments by dabbing the residual off the skewers. pretend there's some very well lit rocks down there. I hope by trying to adjust this I don't undo my charm. Pretty happy the timer hasn't gone off yet. I think this needs some of that right there. Just to imply Okay. I think it's okay. So that's that. That's pretty cool, actually. I might want to shimmer that at you. I don't know what I'll do after you're gone. I don't have a plan to do anything, but you never know. It could happen. Oh, my timer is off. So I hope that you are still here. <sighs> Panic sets in. You are still here, and my battery's gonna die too. <laughs> But we managed to make it all the way through. I'm going to try and shimmer that at you. I don't know if I can get to the light source to shut it off. I don't know when you're going to be gone. I love you guys. The colors are fabulous. The trees are fun. The moon is great. I'm going to try and zoom in one more time. I still got that other big light on. Darn. <laughs> All right, well, please come again if you have a mind to, and uh, my PayPal icon on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner will allow you to make a donation to help support the production of videos and the purchase of art supplies and the, uh, the helpfulness of pr producing videos is very appreciated. Let's put it that way. I also have a super thanks can you, if you can help, if you can't, a comment boosts my morale. A thumbs up is always helpful and appreciated. I love you guys. I do sell my artwork. And I do give classes, or at least I used to, give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I'll probably make some minor adjustments, but they will be minor. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, saying, I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I'm so glad you're here. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I said that. Can you please give me a thumbs up and share my videos if you have a mind to? And watching longer is helpful too. So, bye for now. <laughs> Priscilla out. Boy, that was a cluster. Uh, chop my Amazon link. My two books are there. Vol volumes 1 and 2 are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, as well as all kinds of other cool stuff. Bye for now. Um, check the link tree. My website's there. Bye. I love you.